Um, I think we have Abdul Aziz from Sri Lanka. Sheikh, my question today is, uh, Sheikh, uh, one of the Rockies uh, I, I met through online, he did uh, Rukia on me, for, he was from UK. So upon his recitation and upon the symptoms, everything, he told me that I have a jinn called Jinn al-Ashik, which means the lustful jinn. And he gave me a program to follow. So is it authentic that there are uh, Jinn al-Ashik, Sheikh? Is it mentioned in the Quran? Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Uh, brother Ab uh, okay, Brother Abdul Aziz from Sri Lanka says that he was uh, attending Ruqya online from Iraqi in the UK. Personally, I believe that Ruqya online does not work. And Ruqya through social media or Facebook or Twitter also does not work. Ruqya has to be face to face in presence of people. Otherwise, we would have simply offered Ruqya on MP3, distributed it, and got the cash back from people. That doesn't work. Or people send you a picture and you look at the picture and you recite Ayat al-Kursi, and you blow in it, and alhamdulillah, uh, mission accomplished. This doesn't work. Ruqya has to be face to face. But this guy has a Ruqya with a, a Raqi in the UK, and this Raqi came to the conclusion that, the, uh, uh, that Abdul Aziz has a jinn, and this jinn is Ashiq, meaning he is a Romeo jinn. He is a loving jinn. Ishq is the utmost in love and uh, 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 intimacy. So when you have a jinn Ashiq, meaning that this jinn loves you so much that he would not let you go. Now, I don't have knowledge in these things. They are not from the Quran and the Sunnah for sure. And people have come up with so many things. And when you tell them that this is not from the Quran and the Sunnah, they say, no, 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 it's experience. How would you know that this guy has a jinn ashiq or a jinn uh, uh, talif or jinn whatever? Does he plug you in in a, a, a computer screen like they do in cars to analyze and, and see the system is working fine and says, okay, we have an error here. I think you have black magic. And it says that the black magic was done by your uncle's wife who lives in uh, uh, Mozambique. What, what is this? Come on, give me a break. What is this? This is not from Islam. So a lot of the Raqis have gone overboard. And it is a lucrative business. It, they make a lot of money out of it. And who's going to hold them to account? They say whatever they want, as long as they can bring you over and over and over again. But I would not go to the extreme and accuse them all. A'udhu Billah. There are many of them who are righteous and good brothers and practicing. But you have to yani, use your common sense. So, again, if you did not fall into seizure, if people, when you're having these sessions, did not say that, oh, you went into a fit or a seizure and foam came from your mouth and you started speaking in languages and another voice of a person came out of you and you're not aware of all of this. If this did not happen, this Raqi is an imposter. He cannot know whether you have jinn ashiq or you have evil eye or you have black magic. He cannot know that. But if you fell into a seizure and you went unconscious, you started speaking and the people around you say that you did this, then this is a possibility and Allah knows best.